Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed the profile part of pharmacy management system project. If you have not seen that video, just go to the description and check out them. In this video, we are going to work on pharmacist dashboard part. So let us start with that. Let me open the dashboard page and let me extend the size of this one to 1366 comma 768. And we also need to remove mean max close button. So go to the property of this J frame, click on this one and close this. After that, we have to place a label over here. So I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to write dashboard. And I'm making it as 48. And I'm making it as 48 bold. And 48. OK. And close this. Let me place this perfectly on the center of this page. Let me minimize this one. Okay. And after that, we need a separator. So I'm going to put a separator from here and place it over here. Let me increase the size to 1366. And I'm going to get it from here. And I'm going to drag it. Okay. You can see a separator has been. So after that, we need here a few buttons for the different operations like adding the medicines, uh, like different, uh, like seeing the, med uh, seeing the medicines, selling the medicines and other for others. So I'm going to write here, add medicine. And after that, the next button will be for view medicine. Medicine. And the next button will be for update medicine. And after that, uh, we need a few more buttons to log out. And on the right side, we need here a few buttons over here to sell medicine. Sell. Sin. And then we need button over here to view bill, bill. After that, the next button will be for profile. And at last, we have exit. And in this, we have to go to the properties. We have to set the label. So add medicine.png emails and first let me select all the buttons and let me uh, increase the size of this one let me make it as bold 18 select this one go to the properties and we have to make it as bold bold 18 okay and close this after that uh, we have to uh, select the images one by one so sell medicine.png image and after that view medicine view medicine view user so it should be name of medicine okay view there should be some view view user we are using this one and after that update we are going to use update user PNG image over here and in view bills we are going to use view bill PNG after that at profile we are using the same which we are using previously profile and at last we have two more left and for logout we are going to use logout.png so logout not this one logout this one logout this one we need to select and for the exit here we have to select exit.png after this selecting this all we have to increase the size of the button to all to 400 so let me increase the sizes to 400 401 will be also okay and let me increase the sizes to this one 401 let me scroll this little bit and let me increase the size of this one and also to increase the size of this one. 
and we also need to increase the size of these buttons so 401 so increase the sizes to 401 that mean okay and we also need to increase this one and this one also and this one and these two buttons should be in the bottom of this page and other six buttons which should be a little bit above so let's place that let me select this two let me drag to the bottom of this page okay nope okay so let's uh first see the above size okay so let's uh and also uh, remove distance between these two buttons so let me drag a little bit hmm. and then we select all the image buttons and put it in the center of this page this one let me place it to the center of this page and save this and we are going to select all the six buttons above and let's place little bit above yeah and these two buttons we are going to place little bit down and then save this and we are going to change the layout to the absolute layout absolute layout let's check the size of this uh, page so it should be 166,768 now it's time to place the labels and set the background so i'm going to the properties and and there will be a admin dashboard background so i'm going to select that one i'm going to perfect place perfectly placing it over here and here i'm going to double click on this remove the label name and i'm going to change this one to the white okay and close this save this one now we have to write the code to log out and and this one for i'm going to click on double click on this one generate the event and before that we are also expecting some uh, uh, like we are getting the username in this one right from uh, whenever the login page so let me open the login page first and if i click on double click on this so from here we have to pass the user name of this particular user who ever log in as a pharmacist then we are going to pass that to the dashboard so for that purpose we have to write the few lines of the code so first here we have to write private string a string user name still like this and put semicolon and just copy paste this one and paste it over here format and here we have to write a string temp user name user name is equals to temp user name and set location relative to null and after that we need to call this one and i'm going to log in page and here we have to just pass the username so it will call this constructor and it will start a process from this one okay now we have to go to the this one logout button and here we write int a is equals to g option pan g option pan dot confirm message dialog and here we have to pass the null and then we have to pass the message so do you want to log out log out and here we have to pass the next select and then we have to g option pan dot yes or no option this one and if a is equal equals to zero it means that user selected yes in that case we have to hide this page so set visible false and new visible will be login page dot set visible true and now it's time to go to the exit so i'm going to copy paste the same line of the code and paste it over here 
let's format this and here i'm going to change this to exit application close application application and here i'm going to change remove these two lines of the code and i'm going to write here system 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 dot exit and here i'm going to write pass zero so let's test it out uh, like it's working fine or not or for other buttons okay for profile we also have the code so i'm double click on this one i'm going to write a new profile profile and we have to pass the username and dot set visible and here i'm going to pass true so now it's time to run and let's check it out so let's check the credentials first select star from app user and we need to use this one we need this one user test one two three okay so i'm going to log in with the user test one two three and let's check it out user test one two three i'm going to log in with that you can see we are able to uh, okay it's not uh, routing to the our uh, new page which there should be some bug let's check it out okay so the role of this user you can see the admin that's the reason it's out it means that there's no such bug so we have to just update actually that user so i'm going to log in as an admin i'm going to update that user as a pharmacist and update user user test search i'm going to make it as pharmacist update update user updated successfully i'm going to close this i'm going to log out and here i'm going to write here user test and here i'm going to write one two three i'm going to log in you can see we are able to route to the pharmacist dashboard if i click on profile you can see we are able to see this data and here and at the right side there is some button is visible so we are going to drag this few buttons a little bit right to make those fixes we will do that later or we can i will fix you you can also fix it by dragging these buttons a little bit right okay and now if i want to update this one i'm going to remove this and i'm going to click on update profile update successfully updated you can see if i click on logout it will work if, let me exit this application you can see it's work so pharmacist transfer part has been completed i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you